There's nothing more relaxing or refreshing than taking a dip in the pool on a scorching hot day. But not all pools have the same azure appeal. Around the world, some total psychopaths have built their baths teetering on the edge of cliffs, perched on the very tops of skyscrapers, and even dug them deep underground. And with that, it's time to grab your water wings, take a deep breath, and say your prayers as we dive into some of the most terrifying swimming pools around the world. House of Horror In the quiet hilltop town of Montalcino, Italy, there lies a big, empty house made from an imposing facade of old stone. If you dared to step inside, you'd find a swath of cold gray rock and eerily plain marble features, like a bleak scene plucked out of a horror film. Venturing even further in, you'd eventually discover a mysterious unmarked door. And it's behind this door, down an ominous set of stairs, that this strange, isolated body of water lies in wait. To me, this long underground pool is the very definition of claustrophobia. There's no natural light, only an eerie, artificial glow from beneath the surface, making the narrow tunnel-like room more like an underwater crypt than a relaxing pool. Fortunately, this isn't the lair of anything sinister. Rather, it's the work of architects Pinete and Vossart, and lighting designer David Gropi, who worked hard to recover and restore this once abandoned house. Supposedly, the low lighting is designed to invite and welcome people into different parts of the home. But who is it supposed to be inviting to exactly? Vampires? Chilling Chernobyl when the reactor in Chernobyl's nuclear power plant famously exploded back in 1986, deadly radioactive fallout was flung for miles across Ukraine, Russia, and even as far as Canada. Considered the worst nuclear disaster in history, the area surrounding Chernobyl was immediately evacuated. But the levels of radioactive contamination were so fatal that, for the most part, the area has been left abandoned ever since. This pool in the nearby town of Pripyat, however, remained open for 12 years after the disaster. But why would anyone hang around in such dangerous conditions for a swim? Well, Pripyat wasn't completely abandoned. A team of heroic people called liquidators were tasked with decontaminating the town at severe risk to their own health. They worked long, hard hours doing their very best to limit the damage caused by the huge nuclear blast. So, can you really blame them for wanting to take a relaxing dip in the pool at the end of the day? Following a health inspection in 1988, the pool was shut down for good. And today, it sits in spooky silence as a sad and scary reminder of the once bustling community that lived there. But after the site was declared safe in 2011, it became something of a dark, alternative tourist attraction. Though I doubt these tourists will be bringing their bathing suits along anytime soon. Dipping with the Devil Before you can reach this petrifying pool in South Africa, you'll need to traverse a treacherous, rock-strewn path until you come across running water. Then, you'll know you've reached the river Zambezi. From here, simply jump in and swim down current towards the massive, crashing Victoria Falls and try not to think about what would happen if you fell off the edge. Though, that might be hard because the location of this pool is right on the precipice of the waterfall. The strangely calm area of water is separated from the shocking 328-foot drop below by a thin lip of rock that's been slowly eroded away over thousands of years. So it's no surprise that this place has become known as the Devil's Pool. And not that that stops thrill-seeking tourists from jumping in without a care in the world. Personally, I'd be too worried about that lip of rock breaking off and sending me plummeting down with it. And considering more than 100 million gallons of water rocket over the falls every minute, it's just a matter of time before that lip goes hurtling over the edge as well. 
I don't think I'd want to be posing for a selfie there when that happened. Shivers in Shanghai If you're scared of heights, you might want to avoid the modern Holiday Inn in Shanghai, which boasts a swimming pool that is definitely not for the faint of heart. On the 24th floor of the towering building, the pool juts out from the side and hangs over the streets below, which are a dizzying 230 feet down. And if you thought that was scary, it's also got a glass bottom, so the people below can watch you as you desperately try to swim back to safety. Or is that just what I'd be doing? Uh, of course, the pool really is safe, but it sure doesn't look like it. The design is cantilevered, which means it's made from a single, long beam that's only supported at one end. And while this sounds like a disaster waiting to happen, it's actually a strong structure and is often used in bridges. But even with this knowledge, I still don't fancy stepping foot in it. Nerve-wracking Nemo If somebody mentions the name Nemo to you, you probably start thinking of a friendly talking clownfish, not a terrifying water-filled trench that looks like it descends into the darkest depths of hell. Okay, so this diving facility called Nemo 33 doesn't actually lead to Satan, but it does drop down a death-defying 113 feet. That's about as deep as a 10-story building is high. Divers come to Nemo 33 because it lets them practice their deep water diving skills without having to make a long trip out to sea. The relatively shallow upper pool features a circular pit that, if you're not too scared, you can follow all the way down into the inky blackness below. And at the very bottom, there's simulated caves and underwater tunnels that sound like a claustrophobe's worst nightmare. But what does it feel like to be more than 100 feet below the surface of the water? Well, at that daunting depth, you have about four times more pressure pushing down on you than you'd usually have on land. This restricts the amount of air your lungs can breathe in, as they're squeezed by the immense weight of all the water above you. It could be easy to panic. However, with the right amount of training and experience, it's still a safe diving depth for most people. Though, it's probably a good idea to start out in the shallow section first. I mean, you don't want to throw yourself in at the deep end. <laughs> Tallest Terror The skyline of the lavish city of Singapore is a glittering collection of truly spectacular sights, but it's the Marina Bay Sands Hotel that boasts one of the most impressive and wettest attractions around. Sitting proudly on the rooftop, this infinity pool once held the record for being the highest swimming pool in the world. At a jaw-dropping 650 feet high, the pool is perched on the 57th floor, giving swimmers the most amazing view of the city below. What's more, it stretches almost 500 feet from one side of the $6 billion hotel to the other. That's almost three Olympic swimming pools in length. However, as impressive as this structure is, it's also terrifying. Because this once record-breaking pool doesn't have any rails, or at least not any in the traditional sense. There is a protective ditch running around the edge of the pool, but looking over the small barrier at the cityscape below still sends a shiver up my spine. And like the height wasn't daunting enough, these hotel guests are swimming up so high that they occasionally witness lightning from their pool top perch. Whoa! If that's not a sign to get out of the pool, then I don't know what is. Horrifying Hubertus At Hotel Hubertus in Italy, visitors can choose to enjoy a relaxing sauna experience, a workout in the gym, or a swim in one of the most terrifying pools in the world. The 84-foot-long marvel juts out from the very top of the hotel, leaving it levitating around 40 feet in the air. Compared to Shanghai's sky-high pool, this is hardly off the ground. So this design isn't all that scary, or at least it wouldn't be, if only it weren't entirely supported by what looks like a few lone tree trunks. 
And just to remind swimmers that their fate hangs in the balance of these trees, there's a glass panel in the bottom so that they can look down at the cold, hard ground 40 feet below. Fortunately, the trunks are actually encasing strong steel columns, so they only look dangerous. But if you went up there without knowing that, the feeling that four spindly wooden poles are all that stand in the way of you becoming a flattened mancake would not be pleasant. So fancy testing the limits of your bravery? Well, for a whopping $400 a night, you too can slip on a pair of Speedos and investigate whether those beams are strong enough to support all the holiday pounds you've put on. Waterfall Chilling in the pool can be one of many highlights of a vacation. But what occurred with one particular pool at a beachfront condo in Brazil one night in April 2021 was far from relaxing. Just before 10 p.m., residents of the Parador building heard a big bang, and rushing to their windows, they were met with a terrifying sight. It turned out the 75-foot-long pool on the rooftop of the building had collapsed sending thousands of gallons of water crashing onto the car park below. Crazy, right? Luckily, nobody was hurt, and all 270 guests were evacuated from the building and rehoused for free. But some of those people had used the pool mere hours before the floor gave way. Maybe you're braver than I am, but if pools collapsing is something I now need to worry about, I might give up swimming altogether. The Dirt Sea of China Despite its name, China's Dead Sea Resort is far from lifeless. Back in 2013, the country was hit by a heat wave so extreme that Shanghai experienced its hottest July in 140 years. And in Daying County, temperatures soared above 100 degrees Fahrenheit. This led to thousands of locals flocking to the resort in desperate need of a cool, refreshing dip. Giant inflatables in hand, adults and children alike all jumped into the crowded indoor pool, and before long, the situation was overflowing. Quite literally. Despite an impressive capacity of 10,000 people, the pool was overwhelmed by the sheer number of hot humans, who totaled about 15,000 before admissions were finally disallowed. Oh god, just think of this smell, and oh no, the taste. Ugh. There's no way that pool was filled with just water after the influx of sweltering, sweaty people. And never mind the hygiene, though. It's a miracle everybody escaped with their lives. With that level of overcrowding, if you slipped under the surface, there's a chance you might never come back up. I don't know about you, but drowning in a sticky sea of other people's body fluid is that's pretty low on my bucket list. Poolside Poltergeist Resting in Long Beach Harbor, California, lies a ship that in its heyday was bigger, faster, and more powerful than the Titanic. This is the Queen Mary, a colossal cruise ship built way back in 1936, with an impressive history as a World War II vessel. Although, it was this wartime involvement that led to it being the site of at least 49 daunting deaths. And even though the ship was retired more than 50 years ago, it's far from quiet today. Docked up as a tourist attraction, as many as 150 spirits supposedly lurk on the ship. And the first-class swimming pool is one of the hot spots for the ghastly ghouls. It's long been devoid of any water, but that doesn't seem to put them off. Visitors to the ship claim they've seen women in 1930s-style bathing suits wandering around the poolside as well as a young girl clutching onto a teddy bear. What's more, the sounds of splashing have been heard echoing around the dark chamber. Wait, does that mean you can get ghost water? Huh. Well, I wouldn't be sticking around to find out, as this place is undeniably creepy whether you believe in phantoms or not. So I can safely say this is one swimming pool you wouldn't catch me dead in. Caged in the Cove do you like the idea of being locked in a tank underwater, encircled by huge, hungry crocodiles? Well, if you do, Crocosaurus Cove in Australia can arrange it for you. Visitors to the reptile park relish in the terror of its main attraction, enticingly called the Cage of Death. 
The cage itself is an acrylic tank that you climb inside before the super kind park staff lock you in. Then you're lowered into a pool with the colossal crocodile, just in time to watch the 16-foot beast rip and tear its latest meal to shreds. So you can observe as the crocodile begrudgingly eats the meat it's been given, all the while eyeing the much tastier morsel floating in the cage nearby. Thankfully, there have never been any major incidents at the park, but about 10 years ago, the cage did break, and two people were left stuck inside. Luckily, staff responded fast and got them out without any harm. Whew, it's a good job they acted so snappily. Serious Sinkhole Although it's not a man-made pool, this massive, mysterious circle of water off the coast of Belize in Central America has attracted daring divers for years. At almost 1,000 feet across and over 400 feet deep, it's the world's biggest sinkhole and has been imaginatively named the Great Blue Hole. Sinkholes are caused by a collapse in the surface layer of rock, often due to erosion. When the rock collapses, it can unveil underground and underwater caverns. Here, the sinkhole descends so deep that sunlight from above can't reach the inky blackness at the bottom. But that's not the scariest thing about this giant hellhole, because there are hundreds, if not thousands of sharks that patrol this area too. Thankfully, the sharks only swim where it's light, so you probably wouldn't get a Jaws-style surprise if you decided to venture into the darkness. But scientists have discovered something far more unsettling than sharks down there in the gloom. Using sonar technology, they mapped the entire underwater pit and found tracks at the very bottom that, get this, they can't identify. So something has been lurking on the pitch black of the ocean floor and we have no idea what it is. Could the Great Blue Hole be the lair of some legendary sea monster like the Kraken? Or maybe Godzilla? What do you reckon? Let me know what you think's lurking down below in the comments. Texan Tall Pool 500 feet above the busy streets of Houston, Texas, people can swim in a pool that's far away from all the hustle and bustle down below. It actually sounds quite relaxing, if you ignore the fact that the bottom of the pool is completely clear and juts out from the 42nd floor of the residential Market Square Tower. The transparent base is curved with no hard edges and makes it seem as if you're really floating in the sky. I was sure this brave man was about to fall straight off the edge. Ugh. I felt my stomach churn just watching that. But although it looks like you could fall through the floor at any moment, it's made from 8-inch thick acrylic glass. So the chances of an accident happening are incredibly slim. Acrylic glass is stronger than normal glass and transmits light at a similar wavelength to water. That's why the view through the pool's bottom is crystal clear. So I'd be more worried about suffering a wardrobe malfunction and flashing my birthday suit to the whole world. Panoramic Terror Imagine a swimming pool so gut-wrenchingly high that you could see the whole of London City, glittering like a toy town below you. Now imagine this pool makes up the entire rooftop of a skyscraper, with transparent walls and 360-degree views of the city. Okay, so you're getting an idea of the hair-raising concept that's in store for England's capital in the next few years. While this insane infinity pool is only in the planning stage, if built, it would be the first ever of its kind. And it's planned to tower over the cityscape at a whopping 656 feet high, a whole 66 feet taller than the neighboring Gherkin Tower. Much like the Market Square Tower's pool, the whole thing will be made from acrylic glass, both the walls and the bottom. So it'll look like you're floating high above the city with nothing in between you and a 55-story fall. Yikes. But hold on a moment. Just how are swimmers meant to get in and out of this sky-high swimming pool? According to the designers Compass Pools, at certain intervals, a tube encasing a spiral staircase will rise up from the pool floor using hydraulics, coming to rest very slightly above the water's surface. 
A special pump will empty the staircase tube of the water that rests inside it while the pool's in use, depositing it back in storage and enabling swimmers to safely enter and exit the pool via this staircase, which connects the pool to the floor below. This design couldn't get any crazier if it tried. What'll they add next? A water slide on an adjacent building? Maybe a diving board off the edge? What do you think? Let me know down in the comments. Predators at the Pool Across the baking hot plains of Tanzania in East Africa, a plethora of dangerous animals wander the rolling wilderness. From enormous elephants to roaring lions, it's a risky place to explore on your own. Knowing that, would you be brave enough to hang out in a pool that directly overlooks one of the animal's favorite watering holes without any kind of protection? Well, the Four Seasons Safari Lodge inside Serengeti National Park has just such a pool a mere 25 feet away from a spot the elephants love, with no fences or barriers of any kind. The pool is so close that if it weren't for the difference in color, it would be hard to tell where it ends and the watering hole begins. Considering crocodiles lurk in the waters of the Serengeti though, I'd be worried about getting too close. Moreover, although rare, leopards and lions prowl the area too, searching for fresh meat. And nothing ruins a day in the pool quite like being eaten alive. Precarious Pulpit A huge 2,000-foot-tall cliff, a bone-breaking plummet into the freezing cold waters below, and nothing to stop you hurtling off the edge to your icy doom. Does that sound like a good place to build a swimming pool? I don't think so either, but the people who designed this next monstrosity are confident in their vision. Pulpit Rock in southern Norway is a tourist attraction in its own right, where people flock just to take in the amazing views of the surrounding Lysfjord. But back in 2019, architectural studio Aria Atak proposed transforming the rock face from this to this. The structure bolted into the cliff face itself is actually a five-star hotel, complete with several snazzy balconies that are guaranteed to give a great view of the area. The crowning jewel, though, is the long, thin strip of pool jutting out at the bottom, or the world's most death-defying water feature, depending on how you look at it. The entire oblong structure is planned to be completely see-through, giving a heart-wrenching view of the chasm below to anyone brave enough to swim in it. Just picture yourself doing a forward stroke over this. Thankfully, this design is still just a concept. Otherwise, I'd be saying no way to Norway. Written and Read If you love reading books outside in the sunshine, then the library resort on the island of Koh Samui in Thailand might just be your dream getaway. With a distinctly literary theme, smaller guest rooms are called pages, with the larger suites called chapters. But the resort also hosts a more malevolent-looking attraction. I mean, it looks like someone had a really gruesome accident in this pool, and I'm not talking about peeing in it. Fortunately, the blood-red color is just a creepily clever illusion. An intricate pattern of orange, yellow, and red mosaic tiles adorn the inside of the swimming pool, making the water within seem like it's been tinged blood red. The illusion only works because the depth of the pool is just right. All water has a slightly blue tint to it, so, despite the tiles, the pool would actually appear blue like any other if it were much, much deeper. Well. As much as I understand that, I'm still not sure what this bright red color has to do with the library theme. I mean, nothing I've read so far has... Oh, oh, there it is. Yeah, it's very clever. Scary Sky Pool Ah, London. The city of Big Ben, Buckingham Palace, and a super scary transparent sky pool. Hold on, what? This attraction only opened in 2021 and is a joint venture by engineers, aquarium designers, and even architects who worked on the Sydney Opera House. That explains the sleek, modern look. But as inviting as the water is, 
It's the view through the bottom that people come here for. The clear acrylic floor gives swimmers a perfect view of the 100-foot drop below them. And with clear sides, too, the breadth of the view is unparalleled. Of course, it's not for everyone, particularly people who suffer from vertigo or common sense. But as long as there are no more than 19 people in it at a time, its designers claim it's just as safe as being on the ground. Uh, hold on. Does that mean if 20 people go in, the whole thing will come crashing down to earth in a big splash of water and swimsuits? I know it rains a lot in Britain, but that would really surprise anyone unfortunate enough to be standing underneath. Heaven and Hell in Hawaii The next time you plan a vacation, I don't recommend heading over to Kipu Falls on the Hawaiian island of Kauai. This small, tranquil-looking waterfall was a popular tourist trap for years. Nowadays, though, the area has been blocked off because it leads to a natural pool so dangerous it's been nicknamed the Pool of Death. The small cove can be reached if you jump from the falls at the right spot, and in good weather it looks like an idyllic place to go for a bathe. Ten-foot-tall walls of volcanic rock surround it and block the powerful ocean waves for the most part. On good days, the pool is calm. But on bad days, when seas are rough, waves can reach humongous heights of 15 feet and come crashing violently over the volcanic walls. In seconds, the cove can turn from heaven to hell for anyone unlucky enough to be caught within. Luckily, these kids were okay, but the current can very quickly pull you under the water, onto the jagged rocks, and back out into the ocean, which is extremely choppy and dangerous in this area. So this is one terrifying pool I can't recommend even to the bravest thrill-seekers out there. I mean, if it's named the Pool of Death, it's probably a good idea to stay away from it. But whatever you do, don't stay away from my channel too long, or you'll miss all the exciting content I've got lined up for you. And that's all for now though, so leave a comment down below letting me know which of these pools you'd most and least like to take a dip in. And thanks for watching.